is here to ask questions about this. Okay. Just listening into the dialogue. Okay, it, just fine. to make sure I'm familiar with. Did you one. get a copy of it? I did, and I wasn't able to print it out. I was on the road, so uh, you want, if you had another copy? copy, I would take one. I, I didn't print one out. Either. I didn't print mine out either. <clears throat> if I could find what but, I did with that. You want mine? Uh, no, because you're going to need yours. Did you read it? I did. Okay. I did. Mm -hmm. Is it just talking? From cover to cover. The warning? Yeah, I read it too. Oh, okay. okay. Number 17's in the wrong place. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see that. You didn't see that? No. Well, there's a there's an additional 17 in there. Oh, it, it, right above 19. No, it's been corrected on that. Oh, okay. So, so it's been... 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 20. Right, but there was just the number 17 above the 19. Oh, no, that's gone. Yeah, okay, it's on my top. That's gone. Yeah. <laughs> that's all. I remember a couple years ago we had a sequence out of order. Yeah, oh. yeah, we did. You got it. Thank you. Welcome. Did you start the tape recorder? No, I didn't. I'm sorry. Uh-oh. <laughs> The recording. Now it's on. Yes. All right. We started the meeting at 5:30. It's now 5:32. Everybody has copies of uh, the warning um, that we're going to go over tonight. We're supposed to check the figures you have. Mm -hmm. I yeah, just actually check over everything. The, mm -hmm. um, all the election of officers, and then on. I thought, uh, Mr. Chair, I guess I would, to help me and maybe during the flow of the meeting, because we go over this when we do it, is I will, I will write down at least the first few that we're replacing here tonight, if that's okay, and we don't have to go back and forth so much during the meeting. Like, who is the, the chair select person that this is? Uh, uh, that would be Jerry that's going out this year. Let me yeah. get a copy of the town report. Okay, that will be it. That's right. That's in the report. Right. It's all in there. Okay. Yeah, Jerry's um, Jerry's up for re-election this year. I'll just take that copy then, and I'll. You will. Everything's ready in there. Okay. I'll... Yeah, this is last year's town report because this okay. one's not out yet. But yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm all set. <clears throat> so there's the numbers for the school and uh, Northeast Kingdom Ways. I checked that. That's correct. Correct. I didn't get anything in the high school. That's. Yeah, okay. and that's on the wall out there because okay. we had to post the one. Already. <laughs> Um, and then number six, the sheriff's department. Um, was the uh, North Country School position that? Nope, that was the I got reelected last year. Five, okay. So that's a two year, right? Three. That's two years. Okay. Yep. All right. And then the um, what were we up sheriff's to? department. Sheriff's department. Yeah. I had a. Yeah, so they want uh, 13, 8, 75, 50. Mm -hmm. Okay, then um, the ambulance, that was voted at the December meeting, remember? They had 48, 7, 13. Mm -hmm. was they November. came with the, their new contract. <coughs> yep. Okay. And then the, our fire department's requesting 32,000 this year, and I got that from Kurt Flynn. Um, Right here, 32,000. Mm -hmm. Is there any no mention of why it went from 30 to 32? Okay. No. okay. No, I, I think he put something in his letter actually that's going to be in the town report. Um, and then the $300 for busing. Mm -hmm. And so then um, our school board is 2846856. And that's, I got that from the. That's why she was 271. Uh, yeah, our school board, you mean? Our school, yeah, it went, <coughs> our school budget went up, I think, 4.6%. Um, and then our general fund, that's, um, I'm assuming that you guys don't want to make any changes on our budget. You're happy with the last budget we, meeting we right, had. Right, I did bring that, but. 
I didn't have any additions or corrections. No. Great. That's fine, then that's mm -hmm. fine. Okay. And then um, the next one is the $27,000 for the plowing, sanding, salting of the sidewalks. That's, that's new, right? Yeah. Yes. That's what a uh, few people wanted. We've been batting that ball around. Yeah. So. Who's, uh, who's going to do that? Um, well, that would be first. We we had talked to the town attorney as far as the language to put it on there, mm -hmm. and you would either have you'd have to just hire somebody to do it. The only person that I got a quote from so far, just to get a feel for, because the attorney says you have to attach a dollar amount because you got to raise tax money for it. Right. Um, was Monty's maintenance, and it's three hundred and fifteen bucks per ton. Okay, so so, so we haven't hired anybody yet. We can't, not till the budget passes. No, right. Not, no. Right. Yeah, because there's been no money in the budget for so it. So if they clean it once in the morning before school, yeah. and then once in the yeah. afternoon, that's six hundred dollars. Yes. To a day. Seven hundred dollars a day. Yep. Seven hundred fifty a ton. Oh, yeah. Right. Seven hundred per. Day. And I don't know if that includes salt or sand, mm -hmm. or is that just plowing. No, nope, salting and sanding. Yeah. But what has to happen is you have to, first of all. If if this passes, then you can raise the money in tax dollars, and then you'll be authorized to spend however way you see fit, yes. not, not to exceed 27 grand. Right, right. 27,000. Um, currently, you have the authority already to plow the sidewalks, correct, and maintain them in the wintertime? <laughs> Maybe you can answer that for us. This is a sidewalk on 105. Whose sidewalk is it? It's not the state's. It's and not? Oh, 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 oh. It's not? <laughs> to, uh, the right of way is the state's. To maintain it is the municipality's. <laughs> okay. Uh, actually, I think it is. Uh, we used to maintain it. The state used to maintain who, it. Yeah. Who put it in? We did. Well, they, uh, it, it is understood. Yeah. Uh, uh, it is it is practice now. <laughs> pretty much like throughout. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but change. what I'm getting at is this kind of this authorizes you to, which I, I I question. Do you already have the authority to, as far as? Yes. Know, I, I do believe that do. they do, but we it's do, not. But we don't have any funds. There's no, no money funds. in the budget, and the, the the school board has historically asked the town if they would. My understanding is the school board has historically asked the town if they would be willing to plow the sidewalks. They've never been plowed. Some people, some kids walk to school. The school, the select board's position, and tell me if I'm talking out of turn. The select board's position has been that they we do provide through tax dollars. Busing for all children, so we. The um, bus goes on every street. The bus town. goes on every street. But that being said, there's a few people in town, quite a few, probably 30 or 40, that submitted this letter of interest saying that there not only do school children walk, but there are other people that walk. Yeah, I'm trying to look at the process here. So we don't, it's not right. redundant to ask for the authority. The, the authority is already there, but the real authority is to really co codify for yourselves that you will expend money on it. Mm -hmm. So let's say this passes. Mm -hmm. It's not in. It's not reflected in Article 11, correct? Correct. Correct. I'm trying to think ahead of what kind of questions might get asked. So, what does this mean to Article 11? Would those funds come out of what we just passed in Article 11? Well, and, and more of in the roads budget than in the general fund budget, I think. It doesn't require a redo of that budget, or does no. it, and it well, doesn't add to that budget. It, we Man, could have we, taken yeah. the 27000 and just put it into the roads budget and increased by that much and have that passed to do the job. Mm -hmm. um, there needs to be a discussion held at town meeting relative to the sidewalks in this town. Not only that section of sidewalk, but the Vance Hill sidewalk, which you were part of maybe 10 years ago. Yeah, yeah. And trying to get uh, something done sidewalks in this town are in poor shape right and need to have something done with it. so it it's I think more of to get a discussion started we can have some fun you know Mike's already our uh, road workers actually had said to Denise that you know that the town crew would be willing to even clean the roads or the sidewalks if they had the proper equipment so 
maybe the 27,000 would go towards equipment that our people could still use to mm -hmm. clean the sidewalk. So it, but again, you're not addressing the issue of no sidewalks on Vance Hill. I mean, there's something that's buried in the grass out there, but it's not a real sidewalk. It's not raised up. Boston. I think it's a good thing to get discussion started and then maybe another year would be put in the road budget. Right. Right. Just to see if people Just want to see if to... that's what they want. Right. Are you following where we're going with this? I am and I'm not by any degree trying to challenge you. I'm trying to think ahead of the type of mm -hmm. discussions that we might have by the way this is worded. And um, so I've already addressed the one about money. It, 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 it authorizes you to spend but it doesn't Say you're going to raise an additional twenty-seven thousand on top of the two sixty-six. It's, 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 bait. It's already within your purview to use some of the two sixty-six to maintain the um, sidewalks. So essentially, it would be increasing the road budget by twenty-seven thousand dollars. This doesn't say that. It should say that probably. See, we wanted to have this. You can't just have a line item on there for discussion, can you? Don't you have to have something to vote on, which is a dollar figure? Well, the attorney um, advised us that a dollar amount had to be attached to that. You can't just authorize the select board to plow the sidewalks without attaching a dollar amount to that, because the select board have to have a dollar amount to raise yeah, taxes. Yeah, and again, this, um, but what this, if this 11 appropriates the funds. Right. Which what if at the end of this it said if this passes, <coughs> twenty-seven thousand will be added to the road budget? Which is why it gets me back to maybe twelve can be ahead of eleven. But the road budget is after. Right, the road budget's number. Oh, oh, I'm down? sorry. The road budget's thirteen. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Would budget. that clarify <laughs> it more for you if it, it said that? Yeah. Yeah, I think it would. If this it, passes. It, then twenty-seven thousand more would be added to the road budget. We could do an amendment at that time to add the twenty-seven thousand to to that one. To make it more, you know, clearer for the whole. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so what I, do you? I understand. Because we you're can saying. change this. This is a working document until it's signed tonight. So we can change this around. Right. Yeah. So uh, what do you think it should say? So they can pass twelve. Yep. And then they can um, vote thirteen. With, and with an amendment, but if you do, if you increase thirteen by twenty-seven, and they've already passed twelve by twenty-seven, isn't that fifty-four? I don't think that twelve has twelve doesn't have the word appropriate. It only it gives you authority to spend. Oh, okay, I got you. So should we change the word? Maybe the attorney would offer that's the way to do it. Just put the word appropriate, appropriate in 12 and then it does take care of it. Okay. So would that, do you think that would make you happy if we put the, uh, yeah, the that would be better? No, not make you, you know, because you know. It gets you in position to have the 27 added to the 760 if, yep. if 11, 12 is passed. So shall the voters of the town of Newport vote to appropriate? A sum not to exceed twenty-seven thousand. Maybe the way is authorize the select board to spend the sum because I think that's what you first want to get answered. Right. And and appropriate. Okay. So I can change that. So shall the voters of Town of Newport vote to authorize the select board? You're not happy with the, with the wording. <laughs> well, I think I'm just thinking this through. With yeah. You. And we want to get it right. You may only need it. Five thousand dollars because it doesn't snow a lot. Where does the other twenty-two thousand dollars go? Are you, are you authorized to spend it somewhere else, or does it get rolled forward in future years only to be allocated for sidewalk maintenance? Are you cornering? But if it's in the road budget, it could be used anywhere. Right. Right. And this, of course, is for next but, year. But at least it would give us an idea of how much we want to spend on it. Yeah about like the cemetery we appropriate so much for the cemetery yeah and that's it yeah there's and that comes out of your general funds yeah the cemetery is so. rolled into the general fund there's a lot of maintenance too that 
or preps that needs to be done prior to yeah. plowing, which that figure is going to. And like now, we do the sweeping and everything down there, and that's all added with the road budget at the end of the year. Yeah. Now. Yeah. I, so. I think, it, yeah, the more we think about it here, just add the word appropriation, I think. I think you're right in yeah. talking this out. So, <coughs> shall the voters of the city vote to spend a sum and appropriate, spend and a authorized to spend a sum. Appropriate a sum? Maybe that's all you need. That automatically gives you the... Take authority. spend out instead of yeah. an appropriate, and that yeah. way we can add it to 13. Mm -hmm. And then we need to clarify if it passes, that will be added to this, which will change that figure. Mm -hmm. I don't think you'll want the words not to exceed, though. You want to tell them how much you're going to... I don't know how that would work. Do you, have you ever passed any other language like that where you're appropriate and not to exceed? How will you set the tax rate is what I'm getting at. You'll, you'll pick a number. Well, yeah, it's all, it's all in the road budget then. They'd have to spend the 20, they'd have to raise $27,000 to make sure they were covered, right? What if we made it to appropriate a sum not to exceed 27000 <coughs> in the road budget? for plowing and sanding of the sidewalks, if that's what people want. And that way, if they vote it down, then we don't put it in. So but if they do, we put it for, in. For that in the road budget. Yep. Shall the voters of the town of Newport vote to authorize the select board to appropriate and add to the road budget? No. No, to appropriate a sum not to exceed 27000 for plowing, sanding, and salting of the sidewalks. To be, to be added to the road budget somewhere there. Somehow. To be added to the road bu budget um, Why does it addressed happen? in Article 13. You want it on top of what you're yeah, passing. Yeah, it doesn't pass. It so, doesn't pass. Them. Right. So, I mean, it's the two line items are for two different things. Why do you want to include it into the roads budget? We can do that anyway. If they pass the, yeah. the 27000 those funds are there. We can keep them off to the You side. saw that too, right? Yeah. <laughs> you know, because I have, you know, a couple Yeah, just big flash. Detail, but I have oh. eye problems. Big flash. I keep oh, seeing flashes and I'm thinking, yeah. oh my God, my eyes are getting worse. No, no, I saw it too. <laughs> oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> the lights yeah. went yeah. dirty. So, they did? I thought so they the passed the 27, were. right? Yeah. And, and then they passed the roads budget. So you're going to have the same thing. It's all added together. Yep. Yep. I'm with you now. Because with the appropriations, how we raise tax dollars with appropriations is all the appropriations are lumped into one, whatever passes is lumped right. into one lump sum for one tax rate for all appropriations. So that would be added to the road budget for one lump sum for the. For if it doesn't on your pass, tax it won't be there. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Right. If it doesn't pass, it won't be there. Right. right. Yep. Okay. So just change the word from yep. some to appropriate. Yep. And do you think then oh, you could answer any and all questions that posed to you at town meeting? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> May I ask a question? Uh -huh. Is that appropriate? Yes. So the idea is to generate the discussion, get the town aware of this issue, and decide to expend additional funds. You're not suggesting take 27000 away from other road funds. You're ad adding it. And you said once you get permission for that amount, then that's the amount that you're going to be raising in taxes. And if it comes in at 5000 or ten, or seventeen, or more, where does that go? You're not going to spend more, so come March we're done dealing with the road, even though it's it's now still yeah. two more months, or yeah. the rest of the money gets to be spent in some way that's within the road budget? In a roads budget, we have a line item that is any leftover money stays in there. It is through the state of Vermont, we can't spend that for education mm. or for 
a new town clerk's office or whatever. Must it be spent within that year? Has, no. Oh, great. It has to stay <coughs> with the roads. Okay. So that, those funds, if we only spent 5000 the other 22 are going to go into that account and be available for future use and for the roads. Possibly make the road budget lower next year okay. because of that. And speaking of future years, this isn't something that needs to be voted on. Once it's understood that this is something that the town wants to see, it would continue and you guys would build it into your road budget as just part of what you do in That's the That's why this years. discussion needs to happen on number 12. Is, is it something that the, that the town wants to see happen on a yearly basis? And if so, are they willing to bring the sidewalks, all the sidewalks in town, up to some sort of grade so that they all can be plowed, and what's the cost yeah, of that? Maintained. Because yeah. I think when Rick did it ten years ago, it was like three hundred and eighty thousand mm. to do all of the sidewalks, and that was still a federal thing. And that was hiring the disabled, and that we have all of the environmental permits, right, and all that stuff. And and his recommendation to us was, I think you can do it for about half that yourself, <laughs> without going through a federal grant to. To do it so it jumping got, through grant hoops right. okay. thank you I it was a good a good question I want to make sure you we're clear on this this apportions for plowing sanding and salting of sidewalks so if you have a remainder at the end of the fiscal year that this is related to it can only then be held for the future f fiscal year for plowing sanding salting of sidewalks mm -hmm. you can't roll it into some other activity Correct. You, you don't think we should add and maintain in that? Well, I think the once this, if this passes and it, it appears that the town wants to do that, that's going to happen. The maintenance of the sidewalks is going to come into play. We're going to start bringing them up to grade. It's not just that we're going to just sand, salt, and plow. We're going to do other things to those sidewalks. Right, not just, with that money, though. Well, no. Not with that money. Not with the twenty-seven thousand. No. no, that that. That's, well, uh, right. It's just for future. <laughs> just to see. If the, I guess the end game here is just to see if the town voters <laughs> want you guys to incorporate in your budgets going forward. Yeah. So I yeah. don't mean. <laughs> yeah. Um, I see where you're going, but I don't think and anybody's... probably that's what it should say: is sidewalk maintenance instead of plowing, salting, and sanding, because that way we could pave an area if we needed to or well that's what I was getting at if, if, if we had we could a, use money for the sweep and if there's some left over all that right there's a section that went bad and got, got frost and you had to do something with it you're from the school board it. I, I am on the school board. This uh, issue is being raised by townspeople, so I just want to be very clear. I'm here as a towns member. Um, respectfully, I agree. Please use it to to keep you know your frost heaps and things for the purpose of making sure that it's maintainable in the winter. Right. I would be very upset to see that we choose to build new sidewalks and then not plow any of the sidewalks when the whole intention is for the winter snow months. It would be great for them to look nice in the summer. I respect how they need to be prepared for the winter rocks and things that you wouldn't want flying in all well, different directions. But you can't directions. have you know, cars can't be able to drive on them. That's a critical mm -hmm. thing. Well, so not without it, jumping the curb. Right. It needs to have some defined... Yes. Yes. So. Thank you. So if the money gets spent to upgrade the sidewalks in the town, I don't think they would be then neglected. But I think we, can we trust need that. to have that discussion because right. it's not going to be a cheap repair or inexpensive. It is going to eventually cost some it's money. It's going to be expensive to me, too. Yes. Wow. Very expensive. Well, that, that uh, quote that we got from that one place, it ends up being uh, if it's twice a day, you get 38 and a half days out of the winter. Yeah. That's not much. In a big storm, you could do it. Yeah, three times because yeah. of the plows going through and filling it back in. Yeah. Well, that's the state crew isn't going to slow down. No, down. they're going to roll it right in there. They got a place to get rid of it now. Yeah, yeah. Right. And Newport Rentals got um, a machine that you could rent through the winter, but it's eighteen hundred and fifty bucks a month. They rent it to you for all winter, but 
That's a lot of money. Yeah. And that's not even using it. It's just because yeah. I called up there. <coughs> All right, I think we're... So you can see where we're going to go with this discussion at town meeting, so you can allow that. It's very helpful that we had that discussion here. Right, that's what we yeah. want to do, or yeah. to see occur. And that's so, why I'm glad you're here, so, so we can change that. Yeah, great. So we want to to add the word... Uh, did you elect to add a word maintain, so it gives you that flexibility? Yeah, we can. And maintain. Or, or we can just for the maintenance of the sidewalks. Take out sand, take out plowing, yeah. and, yeah. and just say maintain it. Yep. And if you want to, if you think that it's important that you tell them that this includes, you know, I mean, that plowing night, sand, you can just yeah. put it to but at least it's maintenance, yeah. and that way it covers a lot more stuff. So right. do you want to leave these three? No, take no. them out. Take them out. Maintenance of the sidewalks. Yeah. Because they definitely need to be maintained prior yeah. to plowing, sanding, and salting. Yes. Yes. Yep. Respectfully, <laughs> is that going to generate the discussion that we want? Because when you say maintain, that doesn't clearly say to me snow, weather. That doesn't clearly say to me sanding, salting, plowing. Um, what is I, maintenance to you? Uh, building and then keeping looking pretty, well, which we just, would we include that. But if we're talking about <coughs> generating the discussion in the town, the next question would need someone in the audience would need to say, "What does maintaining mean?" In order for us to have a discussion about plowing. So maintenance um, year round of the sidewalks. There we go. There Thank we go. you yep. very much. That, that I appreciate works. that. <laughs> I do know that in the in the signatures that we right. raised, the, the specific discussion was around plowing, and so I just want to make sure that all of the people that are bringing this issue see it, and that the rest of the town people that are reading their warrants and preparing to come to the meeting know or have a sense of what we're actually talking about. So I don't intend to be difficult in any no, way. I, I, respect that. I just want to make sure that Maybe it's not you guys. Someone could assume you're asking to build the, the sidewalks that are right, right out here with no concept of the idea that we're talking about plowing. In my eyes, that's what I hear when I see maintenance. I see building and then upkeep, not so plowing. You, you are, are you following where we're going? Absolutely. With this? I, you just What's need the discussion down there generated. Really don't want to just throw a plow in it and mm -hmm. start ripping it all up. It needs to be able to be scraped yes. and kept clean and whatever. So yes, you need authorization to build the thing. I, I respect that. Oh, I hope that we don't get into that because that's in the states right away and. <laughs> no, we okay. just did those. When you, just... when you asked them about this bid, it says here specifically from the school to the overpass. Did you tell him both sides of the road? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I do want to, he raises a good point, and just to make sure we don't make any false expectations by using the word maintaining. To me, as a practitioner, maintaining is after it's built. It doesn't okay. uh, uh, intend to... Uh, suggest there's capital improvement or reconstruction. Okay, great. That's a good clarification. Yep. Thank you. Okay, so um, you wanted to say year-round, take out the plowing, sanding, mm -hmm. salting, and just put year-round maintenance. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll Correct. change that before. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. So are we cool with that? Mm -hmm. Okay, and then the roads budget, that was what you guys had mm -hmm. talked about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. <coughs> on that number 13 uh, where it says uh, anticipated state aid revenue for 2020 $99,119 then it looks like minus 717410 uh, no that's a dash <laughs> okay that's a dash should that okay I mean I understand it but I didn't know if people should it be a comma do you see it right oh yeah I, I, no. should that be a period or a comma. It estimated anticipated state aid revenue for 2020 somewhere between 99,000 and 717. I don't know nope. what it's saying. Or no, it's saying that the anticipated revenue was 99,000, and then 717, 410 was what was voted last year. Should there, there be, should there be parentheses around that? Yeah. Or period after no, that. No, parentheses that, around that. Yeah, that dash should be gone like all the others. Up yeah, here. We have parentheses, parentheses around So them. that should be a parentheses. And I put that in there to see if you guys were catching all, all the mistakes. Yep. Very good. You guys did well. <laughs> we passed so far. 
Is it amazing how Cute. they can do that? <laughs> you believe that one? Yeah, it's amazing. And then the Lister's budget went up to $21,000. They have requested an increase because of additional education uh, that they're going to have to go to this year. Oh. Um, Is that in their letter? No. No, they just put in their letter, and there will be somebody down okay. in the street. Uh, that's all I ask. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody, yeah. somebody questions it. Yeah. yeah. So that's why there's more to the list. Is on the some sort of certification that they need. Yeah, they have to keep going. There's, the state is mandating more and more mm -hmm. stuff that they need to do. So, uh, And then number 15 is just to take the leftover money that they had from their 2018 budget, put it in the appraisal fund. The library went up 2000 bucks. They're asking for 25 uh, 2000 I'm sorry. They're asking for 25000 this year, and we got a letter from them as well. They haven't raised um, their appropriation for quite a number of mm -hmm. years. So. Um, and then all the others, RCT, all the way down through. We've got, if you guys want to see the petitions, we've got all the petitions with the signatures. They had to have them right there. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yep. Was the double dot after 17 one of your tests? Yep, that was for you actually, so you did well on that one. Very good, Rich. I'll change that. Didn't notice that one. Um, and all of these stayed pretty much the same with the exception of number 21. And with these Kingdom Human Services, they went double. Yes. 100% increase. Mm -hmm. Is there an explanation about that? Um, no, there isn't. Um, these are all their petitions, of course. But yeah, they got the appropriate signatures or it wouldn't be on here. Yeah. Um, no. But no explanation as to why it doubled. No, but I want to. I want you to see where it said that amount, just so I'm not making a mistake, because you can see that that can actually. Oh, yeah. Three thousand one eighty-eight town meeting. Oh, yeah. Hmm. I see. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Um, Hopefully, somebody's there to explain that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask a question. Mm -hmm. That's all the way. Uh, yeah. Or you have a 100% increase. Okay. And then all of the others pretty much stayed the same. Um, the only other change on here is number 26, the day that the taxes are due. Um, this was kind of my recommendation. Usually we toggle, you know, back and forth the dates a day or two, the 27th, 28th, 29th, mm -hmm. usually towards the end of October. Depends on which, what day it lands on. <coughs> yeah. What a lot of towns are doing now, or what I've seen in a couple of other towns, is that they just say, okay, every year the tax is going to be, be due on this day. If the day falls mm -hmm. on a day when the town isn't open, like in our case on a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, they will be due the, the following Monday. The following Monday. Yeah. And it always used to be the 25th, because that was my anniversary until then, the happy anniversary. <laughs> that was nice. <laughs> <coughs> and this way here, it's very clear. If some, you know, that okay, every year on the 27th mm -hmm. they're going to be due, and if people vote for that every year going forward, I think it should. Be. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. Do you follow that one? Rich? That's why. He's reading it right now. Yep. Okay. Each year following, cut it. Right. And if the date falls on a Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, because we're not open on Friday, the due date will be the Monday immediately following. So you'll always be taking Fridays off. Well, yeah. So if if the well, the hours here are Monday through Thursday, seven to four thirty. Right. Right. So like in Derby, they're closed on Friday, or Jay, or Westfield, or Troy, they're all closed on Friday. So they would have this same concept. So if you change your operating schedule, we're going to have to change our wording on our how our taxes are collected. Unless, if the 27th would fall on a Friday and we happen to be open, <coughs> it could still be the preceding, the Monday evening okay. following. Okay. Okay. Fine. Um, uh, any questions? Well, I, I have a question on some past business and wanted to know if it would be appropriate to put it into the uh, what we discussed at town meeting with Mr. Pengree coming and uh, oh, for the for Second the Amendment, second amendment stuff. I don't feel that it's our 
decision to make whether we adopt an ordinance or not. I think it's something that all the town should have a discussion on and, and vote on. But I don't know how to, the appropriate way to get it. Well, in the paper, um, most towns are just the select board. Holland and Derby. Have, yeah, have, and they, Barton, they just did it. Irisburg is looking into it or yeah, whatever. They just adopt. They just the they did it on a select board level. But they, yeah, I know. There yeah. was a thing on the news tonight about that. What does was that? The Attorney General says you can't do it. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> says all these votes are going to be null and void. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. On a select board level. Mm -hmm. It's really federal. I think. Yeah, but it's. A, I kind of wondered that too. It is federal. State overrules ordinances anyway, right? Um, I, think that's I, I, I assume that's the order. An ordinance for a town <laughs> just is that it's a rule that we have in the village here or the town that we need to follow because it's been adopted as an ordinance. But that doesn't trump federal or state. No. Not usually. So, so I, I I know I I don't. The um, Derby Select Board it's has just to a, make it a little harder, maybe. Yeah. And you know, so somebody could say, well, I'm not going to enforce that because we have an ordinance in this town. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just didn't feel that it would be appropriate for us to do something. But if you're saying it, it's it's on the news, well, and, I don't really caught part of it. I have a yeah, to do. Yeah. The Derby uh, Derby was going to. Put it on their uh, warning as well. Oh, they were. And and then they opted to. Uh, Smith moved at first um, with Jean Joe seconding to put the resolution on the town meeting ballot. Then they decided to adopt it on the spot instead. Huh. Uh, Derby. Uh, Derby administrator Bob Kelly pointed out that the town does not have the authority to override state or federal gun laws. There we go. Yeah. Smith, uh, Brian, one of the select board members is uh, Brian Smith, uh, pointed out that this is a resolution, not an ordinance or a law, and is not binding. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. And Holland, same thing for Holland. Holland didn't do an ordinance. They just did uh, something else. Uh, yeah. They did the uh, the same thing as. We call it resolution or something. Yeah. Do you feel that we should adopt something like that or not? I don't think so. No. I don't think we need to, but I wanted to, I wanted to have the discussion with right. the town's people. I mean, I don't so have yeah. one way or the other. And if it's yeah. not binding, you could always bring it up under other business. Yeah, yeah. And he, he's coming maybe, to the maybe, I was going to say, maybe he'll be there to... He's coming next week to your meeting again. Oh, yes, okay, uh -huh. yeah. yeah. I'll tell him he can, he can bring it up at yeah. town meeting if he wants to. Under other business. Under other business, yeah. yeah. He is a resident of the town. He is. Correct. Okay. So yeah. that's fine. He can speak and we can be yeah. mm -hmm. He lives just around the corner here or someplace. Other okay. name again? Thomas Pengree. Pengree. P I N G R E E. I'm not even up to speed on what you've been talking about. So I well, it's, it, it's just <laughs> what's happening down in Virginia. Virginia, the governor is down there and he's, he's proposing that we, we take away all guns that are semi automatic. Oh, okay. Whether they be handguns, whether they be rifles, whether, you know, you just, could take, just nobody can carry those in certain uh, certain places. Uh, to include movie theaters, public places, uh, schools, uh, uh, you know, that, so. And it's called Article 2 or something like, what did you? Second uh, Amendment. Oh, oh, yeah. Second oh. Amendment. So, no, I know that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Constitution. So that's why I Second say. Amendment sanctuary is, Thank, is yes. precisely, yeah. you know? Thank you. Yeah. But I'll tell you, I'd like to say something. Most of it, for the most part, I've read and tried to understand it. All it is is a red flag that we object to this. That's yeah. basically the, all it is. There's right. no set laws. No one's going to come and take your guns away. I mean, that's got to be done. In laws, this is uh, yeah, it's, 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 it's fluff to me, you know. I mean, uh, absolutely, just doesn't yeah. uh, just, we yeah. object. Here's a red flag, don't do it. Right. So, what? <laughs> it, but you know, it's more to it than that. But it just makes the side feel better, you know, when they're doing something such as the you know, the women's rights when they right, well, that was threatened to be taken away, they went and had things passed. You know, this <laughs> is it's the same push and shove, the jockeying of. 
position. So. Well, the, the governor met a uh, pretty good match down in Virginia with uh, yeah. all the people showing mm -hmm. up down there, and they brought their guns. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and they brought their guns. Yeah, what they say there was so many thousand people, not one person was shot. One person was shot. How about that? And they brought AR-15. Oh, they had everything. They, they yeah. had everything. They showed pictures. It was yep. unreal. Yeah. And I think the Second Amendment right to bear arms was not to protect yourself from criminals or whatever, but it was to protect yourself from an overreaching government. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that was, I think that language is in there like yes. that. So it's like, cool guys. <laughs> yeah, really. We have a military to do that. Big pardon? We have a military to do that. I, I believe that, uh, firmly that um, owning a gun does not protect our constitutional rights. The only thing that's good for, in my opinion, is protection. Self-protection. Personal yeah, protection. Yeah, you know, you know, I mean, we've got an army, one but of the greatest on earth. They, they make sure we, we keep a democracy. But that's what, that's what the Second Amendment is, 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 is the right to bear arms and so protect yourselves. He said, uh, he he said uh, a well-organized militia. Yeah. And said, what is it, a war going on? I didn't know about, you know. You know well, it's, it's all, uh, making yep. a mountain out of a molehill, I think. <coughs> right, right. I, I said, yeah. furthermore, I won't say anything anymore. To me, I think the whole issue is things. sort of a, is a hobby. Owning guns, collecting guns. It is. You know, Absolutely. Being, uh, hunting. It's a hobby. <laughs> Grammar. You know, not, you know, like, uh, Grammar. Uh, oh. To me, I don't know. Coming from an engineer, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> I are one. <laughs> So you're all set with that? I am. Okay, good. Thank you. Good. You're welcome to stay. I'm going to go find something to eat. I've been oh. on the road all day. All right. <laughs> Have a good one. Thanks, there. Thank you. We'll see you at town meeting. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. That was, that was a worry about that. <laughs> Thank you. Yep. a balloon. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a balloon on the paper. <laughs> Yeah. Rick was our moderator last year, right? Yeah. Last two years. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> no, Glenn three, three years. years, but the year before he was going to be gone on vacation, so Glenn filled Right, in. Yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. And he has to be voted by the people. Each, yeah. So okay. there will be a motion made yes. to first thing. Yeah. Okay, and then the period I took care of. Okay, so this is ready for your best assignment. School board going to sign when? Uh, after you guys sign, because uh, oh. they'll, they'll come in next week. Okay. Uh, with the exception of Joe, she might sign right now. She's right here. <laughs> okay. right. I'm using pencil. Always right. oh, pens. <laughs> like I have before. Oh, God, I know. I'm going to watch it all the time. under your name. We got a lot of increases this year. Yes, yes, a lot of increases. Some of them very big. Yep. So, tax rate's going up. <sighs> and if they pass. The yeah, un unfortunate pass. thing is the grand list has stayed the same. So it has, huh? Yeah, without new construction and building and increasing the grand list. When you increase the tax rate, the same grand list. Taxes go up. Okay, uh, next is the uh, you would sign the agreement with Aldrich and Elliot. That's for that uh, asset maintenance. The grant you and Mike been working on? Yes. Yeah. For, it's for the water. Mm -hmm. It's a hundred percent. Free, no state match whatsoever. No Good. town match whatsoever. Good. No what? No town match. You're we don't have to have any money to match it. They, they, they pay for it all. They pay for it all. There's only a five. Well, that's good to hear. That are it's given out. We may or may not get it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We may or may not get it. That's yeah, right. There's only they only five or six in the state that are given out. Five a year. Five a year. Yeah. yeah you know, I, I saw the figures in that. There's a uh, a year of maturity for the loan. It says. Uh, and you said you don't have to match it. Right. 
there's a loan involved, right? Right, what you have to do is you, the town has to pay the money, and then you, just like with the water project, the town pays the bill, and then you send in to the, to the loan, pe to the grant people, they'll send you a check. To cover 100%? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, I yep. got it. So, because uh, it says, uh, I'm just trying to understand, that makes a lot of sense. All of, it said USDA, 277536 so that's how much the limit they can put, they're going to put up, or is that the whole amount? 270, no, it's, it's uh, 27000 Yeah, that's different, different. Uh, that's probably the whole thing for all the projects. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's the uh, whole 50, uh, what is but it? But that's not just for us, we can only do no. 27000 Right, right the, the maximum, per, right, the maximum that, that you can get for this particular grant is 30000 and what is asset management exactly? What they're going to do is document and record every piece of equipment, buildings, pipelines, um, the Shut ars up. arsenic treatment, everything, and, uh, and record it, the, um, what it's worth, its expected life uh, expectancy, whatever, uh, what it will cost to replace it, so that moving forward, we could look at this. It's got a life expectancy of 10 years. It's on its fifth year. So in five years, we're going to have to do something. So it's planning for the future. Yeah. Right, it will help you establish a, a reserve fund for the water so that when things break, you will have the money to pay for it. It's critical in, doing, in, a, in establishing a rate structure for your water users. It's a critical piece because you have to have part of your rate structure has to include reserve money for breakdowns for things like right. pumps, like yeah. wells new, that are going to new lines, new lines that are right. Got off. So this yeah. will will tell you, and our engineers have a lot of that information already, and that will tell the water board and the select board, okay, we have to put X amount of dollars a year away for this pump. We have to put X amount of dollars a year for this line because it's 50 years old. Thank you. Things do break down. Mm -hmm. Yep. At the worst times. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and there's a guy that's willing to help the water board too. Uh, Mike and I met with him a couple of weeks ago to do a vulnerability assessment study. <laughs> He'll come to the water board meetings, to the select board meetings, and help us with the rate structure for ad no charge. Mm -hmm. Really, really nice guy. So yeah, this this uh, if you look at that loan document, it, it says that the total project is twenty seven thousand dollars. I didn't see that. Where do I get that two hundred seventy seven? I know I didn't get that wrong. It says you. That's the balance of the USDA loan. We've made your your USDA loan that you have was two hundred eighty three thousand dollars. But as of the writing of this grant, the balance due on it's two hundred and seventy seven because we made a year of payments. All right, it's gonna be and that's the uh, year of maturity two thousand fifty nine, yeah. right? Yeah, fifty eight. So it's gonna go on for another thirty nine years. Right. That was a forty year loan. And uh, the uh, yearly it's forty thousand dollars, you you're paying it back? What's nope. that what's nope. the forty thousand dollar figure? It's in there. I copied it. What is the applicant's okay, total annual payment, term debt? Long-term okay. debt payment. Yeah, because so you it's have forty thousand dollars a year. The debt repayment. So right. You have right because you have a USDA loan, and then for this year and next year, you have that uh, loan to Community National Bank that you're paying thirty-two thousand on. And then what's but that? that's only that's you've only got a year and a half left on that, and then that will go down. But this has to be in the here and now, for the purpose of writing a grant. It has to have your debt as of right now. And the water only has two loans. What? What's that? The water department only has two loans. The USDA one and that other community bank one. And the community bank one, what is that for? That was... Uh, when we put in the first arsenic treatment plant up on the hill, uh, we borrowed the money five... For five years. Yeah. We yeah. did that ourselves and did it for half of what they were going to... Right, with a balloon right. payment yeah. at the end. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah, that was one of that. We had a special meeting, what, seven years ago now at down at the yeah, school? Yeah, or more. Or more, yeah. Well, Everybody team. voted on, yeah. Yep. Yeah. And that's, I think you got one more payment in July and then like a half a payment the next year. Okay. Is that it? Yep, yeah, thank you.
Okay, so you guys have to sign right here, these three top lines. And this is only if the state approves. That's the grant, right? And then you'll sign the agreement with Aldrich. Now, a condition of this grant, as with all grants, is that it has to be supervised by an engineer. And why that um, sometimes the five allocations don't even happen because um, it's such a small grant that a lot of engineering mm -hmm. firms don't yeah. want to bother writing it because it takes. But in our case, we've had these guys for a while. They've got yeah. a lot of our, like all the maps they already have. Okay. They did that when we did our last water project. Free money so is free money. Free money is free money. If we don't take it, somebody else is That's, wrong. that's yeah. right. Money. <laughs> yeah. yeah, free, 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 free. And when you sign this grant with Aldrich and Elliott, when you sign this agreement, if you do not get the loan, if you do not get the grant, this agreement is null and void. You yeah. will you yeah. will get nothing. So. And I'm going to fax this to Aldrich and Elliott tonight before I go home because we want to try to get in all those first five people. Not that it matters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just representative signatures, they all say that. I tried to get down far enough so you guys would get ahead of me. Yeah. I did, but he didn't. Um, Saves the same thing down there. Representative signature. <laughs> I'm on the bottom of the totem pole. Oh, no, no, you're not. <laughs> and then did you guys sign this one? It hasn't been passed down to us, has it? Uh, I think that's us, right? <coughs> and it would be nice if all three of you would sign on that. Just try to play nice and all three of you sign on that. Play nice. Mm -hmm. Something some of you sometimes have trouble. I read that. And yes. If this all goes through, then they will come up and meet with us to have a timeline, time frame, who does what, where, when, and why. So. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty short-term turnaround. By September, it'll be yeah. all done. And we should find out relatively soon. Like, he'll send this in tomorrow. Yeah. We should find out within a month or so. Can we sign more like this? And no. will be up here on this authorized representative. He's going to have to re-sign up there. <laughs> you can sign up there, and Rick can sign the Sign about me. <laughs> and he'll have to sign. They're all signed. It's document for sign. <coughs> Perfect. Excellent. So that was a good find. We found out about this grant just through doing that guy coming up and helping us with that last piece of the puzzle. So that was kind of cool. It's USDA funded, right? Yes, it is. Yes. That's all I had. Anything else before the board? I don't have anything. No. Motion to adjourn. I'll, I'll make that. <laughs> I'll make it. Whatever you want to do. Thank you. I've always wondered. Thank you. Nobody else.